Hi, this is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Welcome back to Upgrading Your Skills to Windows Server 2016. In this video demo, Implementing Direct Access. I'm going to show how to configure Direct Access. Then I'm going to have this show how a normal client in the corporate network behaves. I'm going to move that client to the external network and see its behavior that way. So I'm going to go into Remote Access Management, open the Getting Started wizard. I'm going to deploy Direct Access only, check the prerequisites. Now it should be 131.107.0.200. Let me edit this one here. Okay, that's great. Has those and the remote clients. I'm going to get rid of these right here. Add DA underscore clients. Get rid of enable it for mobile computers only. And it's going to be Windows 10. workplace connection and then finish great okay okay now you can click in more detail if you want to see what's going on on here tells you everything that's going on it's interesting fantastic great now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to need to reboot because it tells you that it is not yet retrieved from in this end. So what I'm going to do is this, restart it, do that. Now while it's doing that, I need to do is go fix something on my uh, on this other server. So on this one, which is not joined to the domain. This one is being used for the uh, external client to get DNS. It's kind of like a split brain. So this is going to be the DNS for the external client. I just need to check something in DNS and make sure that everything's okay. It's external DNS. So for this... This London server, I can see that the IP isn't what I want it to be. Now, of course, this is sometimes a problem with Microsoft DNS. This IP isn't known. Click OK. Fantastic. Great. All right, great. So this one should be good to go. So I can now log off this. I want to free up the memory I'm using on this. Great. Okay, so the router should be rebooted now. So I'm going to go in my tools here. I'm going to take a look at remote access management. A London client one it created two um, group policies. So on this, remember that the direct access wizard created two policies. So I just want to do is on this, I just want to restart him just to make sure that they're applied properly. Although I could probably GP update forward slash force. But just to make sure in the meantime while it's rebooting, it says the configuration distributed successfully. Fantastic. Looks great. Great. Everything's great on this one right here. Wait for him to reboot. So now I'm doing is this. We're on the getting started wizard done. I'm going to verify that the client is configured. So 
from the client here. GP update slash force. Right, I'm going to go net sh name show effective policy. So it shows them one right here. They're inactive when this computer is inside a corporate network. Okay, and you can see this here, fine. What I'm going to do is now an Explorer, and I'm going to go to a web server here. So I'm going to London server data one, and I just should see the the default web server. That's fantastic, great. And I'm going to just try London server one DA. And you can see is right now I currently have access to it. Test DA access. Great. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move it to the um, external network afterwards. So I'm disabling my corporate profile. And I'm going to enable this outside profile. See 131.107.0.2, so it's on the outside at 107.0.100. So 100 is that is that INET DNS server that I showed you. Say OK. Great. I'm going to go back to command prompt. Show you IP config. And you'll notice something on this. Look at this. Now you see this address in here, direct access in this one. So I'm going to IP, I'm going to tunnel in with HTTPS. And let's look at the policy. Look at this. Now both the policies, see? See the policies there. Now let's do is this. Let's see if I can still go in. Yep, I can still go in. And... Still there. London client is outside the corp network. Great. Done that. Now I'm going to verify connectivity to the external server and client to it. So as you can see, great. You can see this one right here. Look at the IPv6 address I have here, the 6 to 4 adapter. Fantastic. I'm going to go on to the router and look at the remote client status. See, look at this. Six to four. And you can see the client right there with this HTTPS. So this concludes this demo. So what I've done is I've configured direct access in the server 2016, ran the getting started wizard, verified the client is configured, was able to connect to uh, 
corporate resources, a web page, and a share. Then afterwards, I moved them to the external network, the client, and they could still access the resources. This is David Papkin. Thank you for watching. See you soon.